Right, right, right. Looks like uh, we're in for business today. We're going to be exploring, yeah. exploring yeah. with my friend Guy, professional right. diver here, down the flooded stairways into the abyss, down the slate mines. We're going to be descending to very lower levels via loads and loads and lots of ladders. We're going to be seeing big, incredible chambers. This is going to be truly epic today. We're going to get, most important, some footage of what's under the water in the very lower levels things that have been remain on the water since the mine was abandoned in the 1990s off and we're gonna start uh how we should with uh coffee as you can imagine i try lifting then tanks and they weigh like a full person yeah I'll, I'll Look at the size. Hang on. There's a hot well. Let me show you get it by the handle. Oh yeah. my god. Okay. Right, get through. Get through here. I think uh, this added entrance has never seen a diver coming through. No. Most definitely not. And uh, the way on is ahead. I like the entrance. That's the way on. <clears throat> so that's what we have. The slate here yeah. was worked in vertical veins, as you can see. Yeah. So it comes out to daylight. Pretty amazing, really. Yeah. You have a lot of water coming down. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god. Thank you so much. There's more open chambers. We're not going to spend time exploring the much today, maybe a few photos, that's it. Again, more intersecting uh, passages into the big workout caverns. This was worked on a haulage level, uh, intersecting with side slits, the, the slate veins in the area, which were vertical slate veins. Echo! Wow. That's your water. Oh my god. That's amazing. I got a feeling that you guys are going to be diving that way. Yeah. Right? Because that's where it wow, that's sort where of going, opens up more. But you, you'll have one. a look. Oh. See, you, you'll have a look, see where your incline, where your feeling takes you. These are some of the left, the last, uh, some of the last miners actually. Wow. The last, uh, their initials. Wow. Yeah, because this was, this mine was worth till the 90s, or so I imagine during the 70s there must have been a good period of production. Yeah. Here we go. After a little rest, yeah. we are nearly half the way to the top of the ladder section that we're going to be uh, setting a rope to lower the equipment and going down to the actual level that has the intersecting floor the chamber so it's going to be pretty exciting stuff to see guy actually diving in the chambers and disappearing in in the abyss rails everywhere and a bit of an a backfield floor seems to be like a 
It should be just there around the corner now. Here we are. Here we are. That's the way. We are going to set the, the ropes and go down. Okay? That's it there. Straight down there, that's the landing. Yeah. About 40 meters down. Right, let's take uh, let's take everything ready and do it. Take a rest. Yeah. I think the only the only thing that must keep you going is to think what you're gonna be exploring, obviously. The excitement sort of adrenaline. You yeah. you're sort of driven on adrenaline now you when you carry this, you think this is gonna take me to places where very few people or yeah. no no people since his mind was flow that are going to go yeah exactly and definitely uh, looking excited to uh, what the carriers are going to give us underwater fantastic yeah i'm looking forward to see what you will find how is uh, how is the verticality of it working yeah verticality is great it's not straight a, straight down with a, a straight down with the gear so that's going to be just what we need. Is I shall it? see you. I shall see you down there. Yeah. Looking forward uh, to it. And uh, don't trust any of that to step on. No, 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 no. no. Just this Just platform. Go straight down. And straight, and tr straight, straight onto the ladders. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Wow, well, we can take a, you can take a view of the depth here already. Very impressive. See you, See you later. See you later. Yeah. I'm gonna take a look at the views from here <laughs> all the way up. Uh, 30, 40 meters straight to the top. That's where everything's gonna be coming down from. We just managed to get the cylinders down here which weigh, weigh an absolute ton they like dragging a small person around uh, credit to guy I definitely couldn't do it and uh, we're gonna have some more equipment coming down in a minute most important part of the kit slowly slowly okay slow down right we made it down yeah. Down the ladder safely, yes. and uh, we're gonna go onwards. Uh, yeah. Walk about, I think, 300 meters to the chamber that we're gonna be descending. I think those rooms here they were used uh, for storage of explosives. That would kind of make sense. Yeah. That's a. Uh, that's a powerful torch. That's the brightest, the brightest one. Wow. Incredible. Ah, you look, it's closer, it's closer than what I remember. Ah. I've got a memory like a see, you see. So, get your light, come in with you, make an entry with your lights. Beautiful is that. Wow. I think you're going to have fun here. Uh, in the water, which is probably going to be about eight degrees Celsius. Yeah, and this is going to keep you warm for the entire yeah, so time with, of the dive. With this sort of under, I might can do sort of three, four hour dives and still be. You can do three, four nice hour and dives, warm. and that's the brand. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so it's a Santi undersuit, and they make probably one of the better undersuits in the, on the market. Wow. What do you call this oversuit? 
So this is the actual dry suit. This is a dry suit. Yeah, so wow. this is what it will keep us keep you nice and dry. So there's no dive. way any water is going to come in contact with you in theory. In theory, it shouldn't unless I manage to. Uh, in practicality, there's uh, going to be some. In practicality, they're normally pretty good uh, unless you put a hole in it yourself and then you get a little bit. Wet. I actually never seen a dry suit before. It looks like a lot of clothing, but like you say, the water is going to be quite chilled. Yeah, the water will just sap the heat out of you, especially sort of through your extremities, through your head. So we have like thick hoods that we put on as well, just to keep us nice and dry, or not dry of a hood, but to keep you nice and warm. It just adds an extra thermal layer to your head. Uh, and yeah. Fantastic, good stuff. So these are your, these are your divers uh, yeah. shoes. Yeah. Just good old fashioned cumbers. I guess, yeah, I guess once you've got your foot covered, why do you need anything else? Because you've got a, a yeah. dry suit on your foot. So um, that's just to give a bit of grip, really. And that's give it. you a bit of grip, a uh, bit of protection for the base of your feet. Yeah. And with these, they actually give you a little bit of ankle support, although it's not much. It's mm. better than most of the uh, dive shoes on the market. Good old fashioned cumbers. So, yeah. cool. huh? my, mine diving, I think these are probably the best shoes you can wear. Best uh, shoes for my That's diving. the secret. The Converse. Yeah. Don't look elsewhere. No, no, no. <laughs> That's the secret, guys. <laughs> That's all part of the lighting and yeah, so for the camera. Just, yeah, it's just an external monitor for the camera for shooting video. I didn't even know cameras this big, really. No. Well, did I know they existed? Yes, but I never. It's never it's come it. to the reality. When you see one, actually, you think, "Oh God, this is big." Wow. It's a little bit bigger than uh, our cameras. Yeah, put it this way. <laughs> Just a bit. Just Oh, you, you just let a bit of air out, so yeah, this is airtight, is it? Yes, yeah, so it's completely airtight and I can inflate and deflate it as well underwater. Wow. So as you go down, the pressure of the water will squeeze on you. So you just need to uh, sort of add a little bit of air into the suit so it doesn't sort of crush you. Yeah, uh, of course. On your way back up, you can just dump it out through your shoulder here. And this automatically dumps the air out for you. <laughs> yes, this almost looks nice, so futuristic really, <laughs> but yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, you put in everything on on the edge. That's safe, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We're getting ready. This is exciting. With my gun. He's grabbing the dive light, that's what he's doing. Oh my god, he's disappeared. He's gone. Light lower. You won't, you won't find him, will you? If you can catch him now, can you can you light him up now? He's gone, is he? Yeah, wow, that's beautiful. 
nearly one hour. I think it's going to be resurfacing very, very, very soon. But the water looks so... Right. Finally resurfaced. You want the hand? Ah, uh, sure, it'll be okay. And it's out. Older workings towards the top of the water column, and as you go sort of deeper and deeper, it gets a lot more modern in terms of a mining. You can see where we sort of cut big square blocks away in all the underground uh, structure. Uh, but yeah, there's this sandy, this chamber doesn't lead to any new bits of mine, it's only a vertical shaft within the chamber. No, no levels leading no, off, no levels leading off. Interesting. Uh, there was a small little corridor that went off about two meters and that's it and then that was it it just led to a dead end so no way on from this chamber so it means that we maybe have to find more under underwater passageway from the next chamber but sadly, most that, definitely do you take any footage here i've taken some footage in here okay uh, and there's a few bits and bobs in, t in terms of uh, artifacts yeah there's quite a few artifacts in there uh, there and so i'm sure you'll see maybe later on in the video fantastic uh, there are some uh, little bits in there but I'm not going to spoil the surprise for you. Awesome, yeah, look forward to see them. Thank you.